Website.com is a fantastic and easy way to build and customize your very own web pages with no coding experience required. So without further ado, let's take a look at our Website.com website builder. So here I have a website that I've personally built using the template of my choice, and we can add pages very easily. So to do that, we can head over to the sidebar and click on Pages, and from there click on Add. Here under Categories, we have many different layouts of pages we can add. So I'll go ahead and use blank, and I'll give it a name. Once you're satisfied with the name, you can go ahead and press Done. Now, adding elements such as text or applications to your web page is as easy as going to the sidebar and clicking on the Add button. So if I want to add text, I can go here under the text section, and I'll just add a paragraph. And I can just click and drag this to move it around. If we want to edit our text, we can go over here to the panel box and click on the button that says Edit Text. From here, we can make any changes we so choose to our text, such as changing the font, the size, or the color by clicking on these buttons up here. Or if you need some inspiration, you can go ahead and highlight the text and head to the font style section right here. And you can choose one of the font styles carefully designed by our design team. So I'll go ahead and select Paragraph 3 style and you can see it's radically different than the last one I had. Now if you want to manage these font styles, you can head over here to the sidebar and click on the design button. From here you can click on font styles and you can see all the different font styles that we have working with our website here. These were each individually crafted by our design team and right now we're using paragraph 3 for this paragraph right here. Now I'll show you a bit about images. A great use for this image tool would be if your website has a logo or if you want to show off some of your personal pictures. So to add an image, we can head to the Add button in the sidebar over here and click on Add. Under the Image section, we can click on Image and out pops a lovely image of some tomatoes. Now if we want to customize the different elements of the image, we can head over here to the panel box where there are many different options. For example, if I wanted to change the image, I could go up here to the button that says Change Image and click on it. This menu here allows me to change which image will take the place of the image of the tomatoes. So I will go ahead and choose a stock image from our diverse stock collection. And I'll just select an image here. How about this lovely image of even more tomatoes? Now if we want to change the size of our image, we can click on the image and use these little blue dots that surround it and we can click and drag to change the size. If we want to keep the proportions the same, we can hold down the shift key and click on one of the blue dots and drag and that will keep the proportion of the image the same. The slideshow tool is another one of our image based elements. It's a way to show off multiple images in the same space. This tool scrolls through the images at whatever intervals you so choose. So we can add a slideshow tool by heading up here and going to add. And we can go down here to the gallery section and click on that. And now we can click on slideshow and you can see it pops out right here. You can customize the images that the slideshow displays by using the panel box. So we can head up here and click on edit slideshow. From here, we can customize our images and organize how the images will actually be displayed. We can also delete our images by hovering over it and clicking on the X in the corner. Again, the slideshow can be scaled much like the image by clicking on it and using these little blue dots here. Our editor also allows for the addition of online forms also known as web forms, which allow you to collect information from your website's viewers. So here is an example of an online form I previously created, which is a contact us form. So using the editor, we can also add buttons to our website. Buttons can be linked to internal elements of your web page, that is elements within your site, or they can be linked to external pages or documents as well. We also have a wide selection of useful apps for your website which can be found under the social or widget categories of the sidebar. So right here. So I'll go ahead and use a Google search bar app, which provides a Google search bar directly onto your web page. So I can go ahead and click on widgets, and I'll click on Google search. And you can see it appears right here. And I'll just drag it to where all the other Google apps are located on my page. Once you're completely satisfied with everything on your web page, we have a lot of tools to help you position them on the page. 
So up top here, we have snap to grid, which will help with positioning things along the lines of the page. We also have show and hide guidelines, which are these lines you can see appearing and disappearing right here. These lines ensure that everything stays centered on the web page. You can also multi-select and drag to move so that each element selected will move together. So I can show you here with the share, like, and follow buttons for Facebook. I can click and drag and select all of them. And I can just click and drag to move them all. And you can see they stay in the same place in relation to each other. If you want to undo something such as a move, everything in your site is auto-saved. So you can press the undo button right up here. Now, this page is pretty messy, so I doubt I would use it for my website. If you want to delete a page, you can head over to the Pages tab in the sidebar, and you can go down to this X right here, and that will delete the page. So I'll go ahead and click on that, and you want to confirm it, and it will be deleted forever. We also have a lot of customization options. Under our design section in the sidebar, we can change the different colors of our website. We can also change the font styles, and we can choose the backgrounds for each of the sections of our web page as well. And even the elements of our menu are customizable. So far, I've created a basic website using the pages that come with the selected template. However, our add page tool allows us many different types of pages to our website. For example, we can add a home page using one of our specially designed home pages. Another type of page we offer is a gallery page which can showcase many images on a single page. You can see here we have two different examples of layouts we can use with the gallery page category. Another type of page we offer is the product page. A product page will actually allow you to sell items from your website. And here's a few of the different layouts we offer for that. Here's an example of a product catalog that I've created. Each page of your website can have its settings customized by clicking on the gear icon next to the page in the pages section of the sidebar. An example of a setting we offer is password protection, which will only allow those with the password to access that particular page. So you can see here in the settings menu, we have a few different settings. So here's password protection. You can give it a meta title and a meta description and give it a few different meta keywords as well. To rearrange the order of your pages, you can click on this icon right here and drag the pages to the desired position. So if I wanted to move the About page down here, I could just click and drag and bring it down here. You can also create subpages by going up here again and clicking and dragging this a little bit to the right. Now the gallery is a subpage. Once you're fully satisfied with your website, you can press publish in the top right. You can go ahead and click on all pages. Finally, you can also view your website traffic by clicking on manage and then clicking on statistics here. Or from this page, you can click on statistics. So using our fantastic website.com website builder, I was able to go from this website to this website. I just know that using the website.com website builder, you will be able to build the website of your dreams. This was just a quick glimpse of the many tools that we offer to help you on your journey of becoming a website building superstar. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our customer support team through live chat, email, or giving us a call. Thanks for watching.